Well, that's the one which just caused all the trouble with that other spider. Like, he's doing something with her backside. I don't trust this one. She's, she's pretty evil. Warning, this video contains extremely graphic footage of spiders eating spiders. If you suffer arachnophobia, this video is not for you. Well, hello, this is my deadly redback spider Truman Show. Into its second week now, let's see who's dead, who's alive, and who has been added over the last couple of days. Better put a mark down, designating week two. And as I've discovered, the freaky show that is going on down inside this glass box here is far better than what you're going to watch on TV or YouTube. Mind you, this is being seen on YouTube, and I've got to try and make this as interesting as possible. This is something I just put across the top to stop anything really small from escaping. And I'm noticing some of the female redbacks have moved to the top of this. Well, okay, let's take a look and see if we can find all the redbacks that we had in here last week. There's one large female up on that gauzy wire. Another large female redback in another corner on that gauzy wire. The small female is doing a nice ad there for caterpillar trucks. The male red back, it's a much smaller spider, it is right in the middle of the screen there, just slightly moving its legs. The spider that disguises itself as a stick is still in there, and it was put in there last week. Quite a freakish looking thing. The spider x axe which are down there, uh, don't seem to have changed very much. There's quite a few more plants growing up in there, and I think Thomas is going to have a wonderful garden soon. Well, that cricket's still alive, I don't know how. The woodies and cockroaches have found their home under the tractor. There's a fair bit of redback spider web in there, as you'd expect. Uh, there is a couple of the ladybugs still around. There's actually a ladybug on the roof up with the spiders as well. The Millennium Falcon, uh, like last week, hasn't really seen that much action. Maybe it's because it's nearly all metal and it's a little bit cold. I'm trying to work out what was going on there. Uh, but overall, it's quite an interesting little environment. Now there were two uh, new additions put in here during the week, and there are actually two spiders. One of them is actually set up its home right here. There's that one there. I believe it's a wolf spider. I don't know if it's male or female. The spider experts can sex it for me. It was found in the washing after we pulled it down off the line, which is a bit unusual because normally these spiders are sort of ground-dwelling spiders. Yes, I'm, I'm hoping that's a wolf spider. I know I'll be totally correct if I'm wrong. I've got to watch out for reflections here because anything down here gets easily seen in the glass. Now, the other spider I'll put in, I do believe it's a white tail. Um, once again, I'll probably be wrong, but it just had that look to it. And the strangest thing is I actually can't see it, but then again, there are lots of little hidey holes in there uh, where anything can sort of hide. There's a classic example of what I mean. Is that that bug with the, the thing on its back? Is that the crazy one I put in last week? I think it might be. Now what I've noticed in this environment is that everything is playing out to its comfort zone. All of these woodies and things like that, whatever they are, are all staying low. That's where they're comfortable. Um, ladybugs are sort of all over the shop because that's where they're comfortable. But the redback spiders, and I'm going to do this and it's going to get very ugly. Uh, there's the other ladybug up there. The redback spiders are in their comfort zone and that's up high. And that's where they play their puppet strings of death. Now I've only got these deadly spiders because we had a huge infestation of them in amongst the children's Tonka toys out in the backyard. It was a very, very scary find and I've been finding more and more. I might shake these girls out of their comfort zone and get them working for me. I've always got this feeling I'm about to be bitten by these things and if I shake this a bit, we'll get these females down on the ground. Oh, and you, it's easier said than done. They've got their own ways, these things, and you know, who knows where they're going to go when I'm trying to manage them to where I want them to be. Come on, just gently move it down. That's it. Come on, down the bottom, please. Please. Well, okay, that really upset the apple cart, and now the spiders are having to reset all of their comfort zones. The large female there has settled back onto the blade of that machine. The other female, which is a little bit smaller, looks like she might be taking a ride on the Millennium Falcon. And she's just gone from the Millennium Falcon over to her female friend there. I'm not sure how social these spiders are. Mind you, they like to live in large communities amongst toys, as I found out. Yes, that wolf spider, wherever it is, I don't think it's that keen on redbacks. That stick spider thing soon retreated back to the roof. And if there's going to be any death in here over the next week, I think it's going to be between a redback spider and what I think is a wolf spider. 
There is the Malred back. You're probably wondering where did he get to. He's scampering around. He can actually move very, very fast. In fact, I think there's trouble here um, going on right in front of me. It's giving me tingles. Um, that wolf spider thing is caught up in some very sticky web. I actually think that redback's got it. Man, that happened literally right before my eyes. It's scary. That redback looks like it's, it strung out some very, very sticky stuff uh, that that spider has got stuck in. And I think it's gone. I'll tell you what, uh, spiders, uh, they can be incredibly evil. Um, spider versus spider. Spiders eat spiders. Uh, it's really, really scary stuff. I'm just trying to work out, has that redback actually got a bite into that spider there? I mean, there's that many legs there. I'm just trying to work out what's going where. Now and then there are like moments when the other one's trying to escape. I'd be trying to escape as well. I don't think it's got a chance. I think that red back's got it. I'm just trying to work out how has that red back holding that spider. And apart from the sticky stuff that was laid in there, I'm just trying to see, has it got a leg or what's going on there? Oh, it's doing its best to try and get away. It's not having much luck. I think that red back has got control. I know there'll be people taking sides here. There'll be people wanting that wolf spider to win and other people wanting the red back. Uh, for some reason, uh, I think the red back is going to win. I'm, I'm thinking they're the ultimate killers. And I mean, what is she doing there? That is just creepy stuff, isn't it? Super sticky stuff coming out of the back of her there. It's a sort of... Oh, man. I'm just getting super tingles watching this. And I'm, you know, I'm looking at it down through camera. Uh, it is just horrific to watch. Oh, it looks like she's just scampered away there. But I, I think that spider's in trouble. That wolf spider. Don't they lay a bite in and then the venom takes effect? And then they come in and just suck them to nothing? Well, that's the one which just caused all the trouble that other spider. Like, she's doing something with her backside. I don't trust this one. She's, she's pretty evil. It's weird, she keeps licking her feet. Maybe she's actually licking her wounds. Maybe she got a bite from the other spider. Just under her there. Oh, might be being eaten now. There's a spiderling from the spider sack from two weeks ago now. I've got to think about how many weeks. When I set this thing up, there was a spider sack that just opened up. I think it was a different spider. And if you look carefully, right in the middle of the screen is a spiderling. Yes, I'll let them settle down a bit, but I'm pretty sure that the spider was, that was on the front here, my introduced spider for this week, has been hammered. Yeah, that's still the attack spider there. She's now playing with the webs and things, as they like to do. It's like their little pastime. I might just walk away for a while, I'll come back a bit later and see how these spiders are playing out. What I did next was I set up a time-lapse camera on my spider prison. Oops, should I say spider home? And I knew that was going to start to capture things that you just don't see if I was sitting there for camera trying to vlog over everything I saw. Spiders tend to work in very mysterious ways. These spiders are nocturnal spiders. That means they are spiders that generally work in the darkness of night. And they do all of their nasty, nasty work in places that you normally don't see. I didn't know whether the spiders would still perform having a light there. Because it's not really nighttime, is it? Mind you, all around this tank is night. Uh, but the spider certainly started to do stuff that looked very, very evil. Um, it just makes you shiver to think the spider that was bitten is in a lot of trouble. There is no way it's coming back to be alive. Uh, this spider is now going to be sucked dry. So I followed the red back spider to the other side of the tank. Uh, it's obviously going to have its meal in private at the back. And then I witnessed some really creepy things. Now this footage is time-lapse footage, so we're seeing a whole bunch of time compressed into a very short time. And what I can see is, it looks like that the redback spider is blowing up, uh, like pumping it, uh, the, other, the dead spider, and then sucking it. Pumping it, then sucking it. Look at the abdomen on the redback, it's getting bigger and smaller. And also look at the, the rear end part of the other spider, it gets bigger and smaller as well. Whatever's going on there is super creepy. Watching this uh, has me rethinking the thought of a kiss of life. What we're watching here is the kiss of death. And the way spiders feed is really, really nasty looking when you look at it like this. I would never have noticed this unless it's caught by time lapse. And the whole time scale we're looking at to capture this, it's about two hours after that other spider was bitten. And then the feeding went on for about eight hours. And at the end of eight hours, there was next to nothing left of that spider.
Mind you, that lovely female redback was looking mighty full. It's now the next day. I put the time-lapse camera over this enclosure for about 10 hours and hopefully some of the secrets of the redback spider have now been revealed. Let me clear away the camera equipment I use and the light that I put on top of the enclosure. And hopefully I have revealed that these spiders work in an extremely sinister way. I'm glad I put a time-lapse camera over that because I tell you what, if you didn't do that, you wouldn't have known what happened. It was one of those really mysterious things. I'm thinking it was a wolf spider. That's where it sort of got entrapped in that very, very sticky stuff. Whatever the redback did, it must have been a bite. Then it just sat there for quite some hours. And then the redback came back and dragged it back over the back here. Let me just quickly spin this around. And I think we saw in the time-lapse it just got sucked to nothing in that area there. I think that's the female that did the feeding. I think other redbacks were also having a bit of a feed as well. And when it was finished, it threw the carcass of that spider down into the track area there. For a while there, those other critters were nibbling at it, but I think I can pull it out. It's just right in the middle of the screen there. Carefully open it up and try and retrieve that body. Oh, we've got an escapee. Back in you go. Down you go. Good girl. This is where I'm wishing for a longer set of tweezers. The carcass is right down in the track area there. Let me just reach down and try and get it without getting bitten here. Okay, I think, oh, I think I've got it, okay. While I've got the lid off, we can have a bit of a look around without looking through glass or wire at what goes on in there. You see it a little bit clearer. One thing I'll have to do is work out how to clean the glass because I'm noticing all the critters are basically making a mess in there on the glass. Definitely time to get the lid back on because there are critters in there I just do not want getting out. That in the middle of the screen there uh, was a spider yesterday. Let's just flash back to some video of what it looked like before it was killed. Mmm, memories, hey? Okay, let's take a look at this again. And uh, watch the way the redback uh, got into this. It seemed to suck through legs, like using the legs as straws. Um, I mean, what a way to go, hey? The life sucked out of you by a deadly spider. Well, seeing what happened to that spider does make you wonder what's going to happen to that spider right there in the middle of the screen. Is it going to survive another week without being devoured by a redback? And it really has me thinking, uh, what could I introduce into here, which would be a real threat to the redbacks. I'm sure they've got predators out there. Uh, like, I, I'm struggling to understand how uh, Daddy Longlegs could be a predator, but many people say that's what eats redbacks. I'm sort of thinking that that stick spider there, I think its days are numbered, but I might be wrong. Well, I hope you enjoyed the update of this very deadly spider home that I've got here, and you've just seen how incredibly dangerous the redback spiders are. It tidied up that other spider in no time, but mind you, they are perfect spiders for eating spiders. Well, I better leave this video here, and I will do another update for the week three. As always, thanks for watching, and bye for now. I might have to swap out the Millennium Falcon for a TIE fighter, because I think the spiders are on the dark side.